Aaron, the, look who I found. Damn it. The stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow. You're really from the Commonwealth? Mm hmm. Yes, I am. Whoa. Someone from the Commonwealth. That's so cool. We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Thank you, Austin. Excuse me, mister. Have you seen my cat? Ash is gone? That's good money. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, you'll find him. Probably dead. I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Screw every other quest. We're doing this. Huh? Everyone get out of my way. Whatever happened to loving husband and father? Stop nagging at me, Alexa. Seeds. I need more seeds. Guys to... always looking for tools. I heard he'll pay caps if you got him. I don't care, I gotta save a damn cat. Everyone shut up. Hey, I told you to stay outside, dick face. Hey. Go on. Come on. Can do. Okay. You know, there is this chunk of Nick Valentine history I've been hoping to put a bow on. Uh what kind of history are we talking here? Well, this one's straight out of the archives. Once upon a time in the land of Boston, there lived a king of organized crime, Eddie Winter. He was a bad man who did a lot. That's fine. We'll talk later. Well, I told you to wait outside. You gotta rescue a fucking cat. Well, Erin, her cat got loose in the Commonwealth. Come on. All right, I guess they don't detect you. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, I got a cat to rescue. I'm gonna rescue a cat. Gonna put it in a bag. Ashes. Ashy ashes. Ashishes. Oh god, what if the cat transforms? It's a giant mutant. Oh shit. Ashy. Ashy Bobashy. Ashy grasses. Chancely bashes. Chancy bagabies. Can't use my babasho. Ashes, go home. Aaron misses you. <laughs> Aaron, I'm Batman. There you go, Ashes. I'm gonna defend you. I don't know if anyone's gonna pop out and shoot you. Okay, Ashes. I'm gonna get some kitty armor for you. That's what we're going. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on. It's a delicate operation, Ashes. Oh god, I wonder if you can shoot Ashes. Probably not. Or maybe you can, which would be horrible. I mean, dog meat can't die. I would imagine Ashes can't. Get in there! Get in there, you damn ghost cat! Vault 81. Friendliest vault in all the Commonwealth. Because here, they don't shoot on sight. All right, I guess you're coming in with me now, so whatever. We got a barber here if you need it. I, not saying you do. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Yeah, everyone I seems like... I heard we had a trader in today. Overworked, maybe that's Dr. It. Forsyth is asking to see you when you have a moment. Hey, did the cat use the elevator? Pretty good tour, right? The overseer says I'm good with people. Way better than Gran. But I, I don't know. I think Grant's moving. Him. At least Thanks, with me mister. Issues. I was so worried about him. You're welcome. I'm so glad he's safe. Ashes! Oh. Bad kitty. I was so worried about you. Why well, I gotta do that? I bet mom's gonna make me give you a bath. Yeah, Ashes. 
Just bad ashes, you bad. Grand says I'm a I almost know, hit I don't when it like comes to either. But you're I'm just happy you're back. Traveler, aren't you? Mm hmm All right, let's, uh... I guess we'll just start talking to people. The work never ends in Bolt 81. That's what everyone says. That's gotta be the experiment. Welcome, welcome. Hi. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Why do you need medical samples? It's for my research. The people of Vault 81 have been genetically isolated from the Commonwealth for many generations. I'm trying to determine what the genetic variation is between the two populations. Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. You gonna make clones of me? This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Mm -hmm. Thank you. This will be a great help. Hope I get now, a lollipop. I need to get these prepared immediately. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. I assist Dr. Forsyth with his medical duties. Are you sick or injured? No. Do you get a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. If that's all, I have work to do. Yeah, it's all. Huh. All right, well, looks like we can... Doesn't seem she cares if we hack into her vault or anything. I can patch you up if you need it. Don't care, I'm hacking into your computer. Got it. A small fee, of course. Do it. All right, doctor. This was just residence down here. Uh, classroom. Let's talk to the teacher. Thank God, Ashes is back. Erin is crazy about that cat. Yeah, I need to check the water pumps again. You. The water smells funny. This Pardon me, Dr. Penske. Oh dear, I seem to have misplaced one of my instruments. Where could it be? Very little discoloration. Strong cellular plant structure. I can't seem to get the potatoes right. I'll have to see how it holds up to exposure. hoping you'd stop by. Now I know from experience that Commonwealth shows no mercy when it comes to hair. So, how about a trim? You've been outside of the vault? Quincy, born and raised. My mother, may she rest in peace, she was a doctor. Imagine her surprise when she learned I'd rather cut hair than stitch people up. <laughs> but enough about me. How about that hair of yours? Did you say you were from Quincy? Sure did. Looks like I was one of the lucky ones, too. Last I heard, gunners had taken her over. 
Any news going around? They say Hulk is running around on his wife. <laughs> Apparently, he and Tina DeLuca are secretly getting together. But never mind about them. Your hair is a disaster. Y you have to let me fix it. I'll think about it. Take some time and think it over. Watch out for the maintenance. It never ends around. You're whipping up a new Hi, how are you? Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. Oh, are you the, uh, yeah, you are. Marcus William Somerset. Oh. Is it boring here in the vault? No, I love teaching these kids. But it's not the same as fighting to survive. Would you mind talking to my class about life in the Commonwealth? What types of stories are you looking for? Nothing too violent. I'm sure they'll have lots of questions, though. Thank you so much. Forty years of marriage. She's looking pretty bad. Still alive. Oh my god. You must be that. The fuck is this radio? This will be a rare day indeed. Just hope the kids behave. Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the atrium. No. Dead ass. Some of our residents aren't as thrilled about outsiders as most. So please, don't think they speak for all of us. Overseer. Have you been down to medical to see Dr. Forsyth yet? He told me he's very interested in meeting you. Yes. I'm gonna hack your computer. I'm through. Alright, so I have a feeling that this vault thing is everything breaks. I swear, it's something new every day. You got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. I guess we'll talk to Katie. Yeah? Huh? Hello, Katie. I can't wait to see how excited the kids will be. What are we doing that? Don't want any trouble in 81. You must be that new traveler Gwen let in. It's always nice to see a new face around here. Who's Gwen? Oh, Gwen's the overseer. 
but I could never get used to calling her that. I've known that girl since she was in diapers. If you need any food for the road, or just feeling hungry, you let me know. Our menu isn't quite as exotic as the Commonwealth, but it'll do in a pinch. Do you run this place by yourself? Heavens no, I'd be a wreck. My husband, Mark, he helps me, though mostly with the tasting. Is it hard work, feeding everyone here? It used to be easier. Back when I was young, we had more supplies than we could count. Why, my mother taught me some recipes that had ingredients that... Well, I doubt you could find them anywhere anymore. Since we started trading, we managed well enough, but... The variety? Let's just say it's more than a bit lacking. Have you ever thought about leaving the vault? Never. Can you imagine? Oh, born and raised right here in Vault 81. It was easier back then, you know. Supplies were high, and the dangers outside were both severe and unknown. Poor Gwen didn't know what she was getting into when she accepted the role of overseer. How is Gwen doing as the overseer? It weighs on her, I can tell. We need help from the Commonwealth, but a few people... They don't care for it. Not to mention the state of the vault. Upkeep's got people working round the clock these days. Even me. If people are going to be up all night working, they'll need a good meal to keep them going. I'll think about it. Still working up an appetite, I see. All right, I want... Is there nice a... pit boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. I'm looking forward to what you'll have to say. All right. I want to see. I really hope there's a way we can fix the vault. Don't want any trouble in 81. I guess class would be. It's good to be out of the lab. Snooping around, Nick. Hey, Outsider, do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. You want to leave the vault? More than you know. There's got to be more to life than this vault. But if I leave, it's on my own terms, not because Bobby screwed it up. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Why would you feed his habit? He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy. I feel better. Done. Now that it's getting out of control, it's another story. He wants to put me at risk, he gets cut off. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. Radio, get out of the way. Hey, the outsider. Uh. Oh man, my hands are shaking. Bobby. Hey, the outsider. You lost? No trading going on down here. Where am I? Generator room, can't you tell? Look, I I'm not even sure if you're allowed in here. Most of the trading's done in the atrium. I can tell you how to get back if you want. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? Who's it for? You? Me, myself, and I. Don't worry, I'm not into selling. That's my sister's thing. I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. Don't forget what I said. If he gets me in trouble, he'll never hear the end of it. Hey, Tina. I never should have gotten him started on Jet. Hey, Bobby. Tina doesn't know what she's talking about. I'm careful. Ain't nobody gonna catch me doing this stuff. Hey, Mr. Robot. 
please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. Staying pretty busy these days? Quite so. Mr. DeLuca has made it his life's work to occupy my time. Not only do I specialize in reactor maintenance, but now I am trained in doing his laundry, fetching libations, and generally picking up after him. Does he help out with any other work? If memory serves, the last bit of work he performed was when Mr. Whittaker forced him to clean up the supply room. He was also quite vocal about his distaste for the job. Hi, old Rusty. Excuse my extremities. <laughs> Mission of Vault 81 is to research infectious diseases and antibodies, with particular attention paid to potential mutations in a climate of heavy radiation. Stage 3 trials may be performed on the residential population of Vault 81. Scientific staff will be restricted to the hermetically sealed research area. This, re this measure reduces the chance of cross-contamination between residential and scientific staff populations. Oh, the overseer will have communication capabilities, but no other members of the residential population are to be ma made aware of the prime directive. God. In the event of a vault tech ordered evacuation, Overseer must be prepared to dispose of residential population by incineration. Okay, so the overseer, the original overseer, didn't tr trust or want to help about the scientific trials. Oh, look at that. I, so, the overseer, I made a decision, I deliberately sabotaged the phone list, such a simple thing, but it meant that none of the science staff received a notification about the drill. The residents are beginning to show up and will have our hands busy admitting everyone. Three, so three science staff made it. 